guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to the channel of Chill, Relax, Plant Content, where we talk about our plants and we try to find the best way to grow them so they grow how we want them to grow. If you're a plant lover, like I'm a plant lover, hit the subscribe button. Let's be plant friends. So, today I'm going to be packaging up the plant giveaway of the philodendron package. Uh, I was contacted by the winner. I have a video showing the winner if you want to go check it out. And, um, yeah. She's actually the only one out of the three winners who, like, have contacted me yet, uh, in, at the time of this filming. So, yeah, I don't know about that. So maybe we'll do another giveaway, or I'm gonna leave a little bit more time for the other two, uh, winners to contact me. But we'll see what happens. So, I'm gonna turn you around, show you the plants, wrap them up. This way you're gonna be able to see some of the extra goodies I'm throwing in there, and how I, how I package plants. So, uh, yeah. Alrighty. All right, so this is just a quick overview of the plants really quickly. And we're gonna start. Okay, so I'm gonna give her this string of hearts. The water's a little algae, but the roots are doing well. So this is actually a pretty good way to, to root up the, um, oh my God, words, string of hearts. If you wanna just like plop them down and then grow them out and make it like started off as a bushy plant. I have some paper towel here that I pre-moistened. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna like wrap this guy because the roots are kinda on the bottom, but I usually like to take the wet paper towel and like kinda wrap around the roots. But maybe I'll just like do all the strands in one direction. This is all new growth, by the way. All of this is new. So we'll just wrap it like this, I guess. Sounds good, just to keep the roots moist. I have a uh, paper bag or plastic bags and some tape. Let me just do it like that and put it in there. I kind of seal it to help keep the moisture in there for the, the truck it has to go to. it up and I keep it pretty loose I don't want to like crush anything so there's that guy we can get rid of this algae water now okay uh, the next one I'll start with the ones that were in the actual bundle so this is the Brantianum like I told you it'll start to grow back normal it just it's a finicky plant but you can see we have good new growth right here right here right here right here right here it's just a finicky plant that's Likes to throw fits once in a while, but it's okay. So we're gonna pull her out with all those roots. We're gonna wrap her and bag her. All right, so to keep this video from being 100 minutes long, we're gonna speed through it, so. Alrighty, let's go.
All right, guys, so we're gonna quickly go over them uh, because some, if you're new to this video, you might not know what the plants are. So this is a philodendron brantianum. Let me put it in the frame for you. <laughs> and this is what she's getting. There's multiple new growth points on it. We have a little philodendron silver sword top cutting. That's also got some new growth on it. It put out these two leaves while it was propagating. It's doing really well. It's little, but it will grow. I have this philodendron white stripe, which is doing very well. Again, it also has some new growth right here. I think there's two cuttings in here. Yeah, and then other new growth is tucked away under here. This guy kind of circled in on himself. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on out there, but it's still a cute little plant nonetheless. We have the philodendron Ava. This one has a little bit of damage, but the leaf hasn't fallen off yet, so it's fine. I'll leave it up to the winner to do what she wants with it. We have this new leaf that's about to unfurl. We have a new leaf coming up, and this leaf was put out while it was propagating, growing roots. Then we have the philodendron painted lady. It put out this leaf while it was rooting up, and it has another new growth point. Hopefully you can see that right there coming in. So we got that guy. So those were the knowns in the bundle. Now everything on this side are kind of just little extras I'm throwing in. So I'm throwing in that circled bundle of string of hearts. Although, look at how pretty that is. Can you see? I don't know. But like these leaves right here are just like catching my eye. They're so pretty. It's almost like a pinkish silver. So we have that. I got a good, about, a good bundle of Cebu Blue. We have a Monstera Silta Pecana, doing well. And then this is just like a mishmash bundle. We have a little bit of string of turtles in here. We have a neon philodendron, a green jade philodendron. We have some marble queen pothos, and we have some golden pothos as well in here. So it's a little mixture bundle, but uh, you know, it's a little extras that I have. I'm kind of like propagating dumping, propagation dumping onto people too, onto the winners, because I do have a lot of propagating. Somehow I always end up having a lot of stuff to propagate. But uh, yeah, so when I do trades with people, I kind of throw in little extras. It's never really anything that fancy, but I think it's nice to just get a little extra. All right, so I'm gonna go get a box and show you how I package it in a box. All right. All right, so I have my box. I pre-taped it. And I just use paper towels um, to kind of like package it. I know like there's other things people use. I just use paper towels. One, because I think it helps if there is any extra moisture, it'll help absorb it so that it's not really sitting on the, the can you see? Sitting on the leaves. Put that down for you. Maybe you can see better. And then I kind of just place them a couple in at a time. I put a little bit more paper towel. Then I put the rest. I kind of just put it down and then I top it off with a little bit more paper towel. There's a bunch of different ways to mail out plants. You can use like corrugated cardboard. Um, people use like plastic wrap. Um, I just do it like this because this is what I have. Um, and yeah, it seems to work. Um, the paper also is more breathable so it doesn't really... Um, like I said, hold in the moisture and kind of rot the plants because that's always like kind of like a, a fear. All right guys, so that's it. The package is all taped up. I just have to write the addresses and names. Uh, this is the first package of the three that is getting sent out. It's the philodendron bundle. It's going to Amy. Congratulations, Amy. And uh, yeah, let me know how you guys send out plants in the mail. And uh, until next time, relax, plant, and peace out.